Yes, one dollar? Sorry, that's not right. Let me show you what really happens. This one looks super simple. It's just one divided by a half times two, right? And I know what you're thinking. Oh, the twos cancel out. So it's just one divided by one equals one. Nice and clean, except that's completely wrong. That's the trap everyone falls into. The problem here isn't about canceling. It's about the order of operations. Let's go step by step, and I promise, once you see it, it'll make total sense. We're following PEMDAS, which stands for parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. But here's the part most people forget. Multiplication and division are equal priority operations. You don't do all the division first. You move left to right as they appear. So in one divided by a half times two, the first thing we hit going left to right is one divided by a half. Now, dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. That's the KCF rule. Keep, change, flip. We keep the first number, one. We change the division sign to multiplication and we flip one half to two over one. So now we've got one times two over one, which equals two. Okay, so that takes care of the division. Now we still have two times two right after it. Multiply that and we get four. So the correct answer is four dollars, not one dollar. Crazy, right? That one little fraction completely changes everything once you follow the rules properly. So next time you see a simple looking math expression like that, don't just cancel numbers. Take it step by step and go left to right. And hey, if you got $4 before I revealed it, give yourself a pat on the back. You're in the top 10% who actually understand how fractions behave in real math. If you've got any clever counter arguments or think you can explain it better, drop it in the comments. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to share this with someone who swears the answer was $1.